Thank you for your interest in becoming a STEM Like Me mentor and sharing your time, talents, and enthusiasm with our students. It's been said that kids can't be what they can't see. By volunteering your time for just a single STEM Like Me visit, you could open a young person's eyes to a vocation they didn't even know existed or was within their reach. And we expect this experience will be just as rewarding for you as it will be for the students you will meet. The purpose of this video and the accompanying Explore Mentor Guide is to help you prepare for your visit. Should you have additional questions, your STEM Like Me coordinator would be happy to answer them for you. So you might be wondering, what does a STEM Like Me program look like? Let's take a look. STEM Like Me Explorer takes place in the classroom. There are typically four volunteer professionals serving as mentors, and each will be placed at their own station with a table and chairs. The students are broken into four groups, and each group will spend 10 to 13 minutes at a mentor station before rotating to the next station. So in most instances, you'll do the same presentation four times to four different groups of students. Students will have an interview form to jot down notes about your career, skills, and training. Now that you've seen the program in action, let's take a minute to discuss preparation. For a general breakdown, mentors find the best use of their time is roughly two minutes for an introduction, six minutes for hands-on activity, and two minutes for questions and closing thoughts. Begin by introducing yourself and your career. What was your path? What experience or education is required to do your job? It's important to keep it brief as the time can fly by. You'll also want to plan your hands-on activity ahead of time. Sometimes volunteers find that choosing an activity is the most difficult part of this commitment. But rest assured, your career will be downright fascinating for these students. They will be curious about you and your work. Our best advice? Don't overthink it. Consider bringing an item or object that represents your career. Keep safety as your top priority so that no one is injured during your demonstration. If you find yourself stumped, consider brainstorming with colleagues or reach out to your STEM Like Me coordinator for suggestions. Remember, there are only a few minutes for the demonstration, so it's important to choose something that can be done quickly and may be repeated for each group you meet during your visit. By the time you conclude the demonstration or hands-on activity, use what remaining time you may have for students to ask questions and for you to engage them about what careers interest them. Veteran STEM Like Me mentors offer the following advice. Focus on looking students in the eye to make sure they're connecting and potentially visualizing themselves in a vocation such as yours. It's not important to be highly scripted. Students want to hear from you in your words as they consider each profession they are learning about. Some people haven't followed the traditional path for education or training, so be sure to cover your personal story and be authentic. On the day of your visit, wear what you'd wear on a typical day at your job so that students can get a realistic expectation of the profession. Remember to leave plenty of time to find a parking spot and don't forget to bring ID in case it's required for checking in. On the day of your visit, check in at the school's main office. School personnel will direct you to the program location. Your STEM Like Me program coordinator is your point of contact for any assistance. Once you find the room, set up your station and wait for students to arrive. If your presentation will only work on a certain surface or needs extra space or an outlet, let your program coordinator know ahead of time. The program coordinator will kick off the session with an overview and instructions. Here are a few other things to keep in mind. Most volunteers commit to a total of two class periods during their visit but there is no minimum to participate. Safety really is the number one priority. If your presentation includes anything remotely questionable, check with your program coordinator for advice. And never allow yourself to be alone with a student. A classroom teacher or other school official should always be present and in charge of discipline. Contact with students outside of school is never allowed by email, social media, or in any other fashion. If a student asks, refer them to your company website. We are grateful for your interest in the STEM Like Me Explorer program. The investment of your time, knowledge, and talents truly make a difference. Chances are, you will inspire a student to consider a career path they never even knew existed. So thank you for being our STEM champion.